There are many universities in the US that are continuing with their GRE test waiver policy for the fall 2025 intake, same as last year. But there are also quite a large number of universities that have changed their GRE test policy in the last one year. Some of them are going from GRE waived university to GRE optional or GRE required university and some are going entirely the opposite way. So which are those universities? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. If you are someone who is only targeting GRE waived universities or the vice versa, then stick around. I'll give you more than 40 universities that have waived the GRE requirement for the fall 2025 intake. And of course, we will update the list as we get more information as universities update their website. Some of the universities are still, um, you know, they have still not updated the website. As they provide more information, we will definitely make another video and update our list. But as of now, we have almost about 40 universities that have waived the GRE for the fall 2025. For those who are for the very first time on this channel, my name is Uday. I earned my MS and PhD from US on a full ride scholarship. Now I make study abroad content and also mentor students who aspire to study abroad in US at various levels. This year I have created an amazing online course Admission 102 for the students who wants to apply to MS and PhD in US where I have shared my secret tips and strategies to make your application stand out among the crowd. This is an online course. You can watch it from the comfort of your home and the course is right now open. If you enroll, I promise you this will be the best investment you will ever make in your entire study or journey. I will leave the link in the description down below. Going back to the topic, make a note here first that GRE test waiver policy changes from program to program, department to department within the same university. Meaning if GRE is waived in one department in any university, it may or may not be waived for other departments within the same university. Or even worse, if the GRE is waived for one program within a department, it may or may not be waived for another program. What I mean to say is there are universities that have waived the GRE requirement for one program and not for the other. For example, they have waived the GRE requirement for the MS program and not for the PhD program or the vice versa. I've seen some programs even have the GPA based GRE test policy where they have waived the GRE requirement if your GPA is above certain numbers. So I'm going to give you guys a lot of universities to start with so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel from the scratch. Just take this list and make sure you double check the you know, GRE requirement for the program you are interested in. So let's get started. The first one is Florida State University. FSU is currently waiving the GRE requirement for most of the masters and specialist programs through the fall 2026. Here you go. University of Maryland. I'm looking at the computer science program. GRE is optional for MS and PhD programs. Michigan State University, College of Engineering. I'm looking at MS program. The general GRE test is highly recommended but not required. University of Pittsburgh, School of Computing and Information. GRE requirement, Department of Computer Science, PhD optional for MSCS optional. And there are a couple of more programs where GRE is optional or not required. UC Santa Barbara. I'm looking at the computer science. The department does not currently require the GRE requirement for any applicants. Because the GRE is not a requirement, we are prohibited from reviewing the test scores for all the applicants. Do not attempt to upload the GRE score to the application as they will not be reviewed. University of Southern California. Admission requirement for the graduate program in CSC. GRE is not required for the students entering our graduate program. However, it is recommended that the students whose GPA is below 3.4 take the GRE. That's what I was talking about. Some universities have a GPA based GRE test requirement policy. This is one of the universities where they are saying that if your GPA is below 3.4, then you should write the GRE. Boston University College of Engineering. GRE for the PhD applicants so for international students, uh, GRE is not required for many programs. Uh, whereas for material science and engineering, GRE is required. Down here are the master's programs and you can see for many master's programs also, international students do not need the GRE. Purdue University, Department of Computer Science. GRE scores are not required and are not considered by the admission committee during the evaluation process, even if 
they are included in the application. Ohio State University, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, and I'm looking at CSC graduate program, and here, GRE not required. Penn State, I'm looking at Department of Material Science and Engineering, graduate record examination GRE are optional, not required for admission. Same Penn State, now I'm looking at the electrical and computer science, PhD applicants may choose to submit GRE score, but they are not required. However, MS and M engineering students must submit the score to Penn State. So they require your GRE score for the MS program, but not for the PhD program in the electrical and computer science department. Rice University, I'm looking at the department of computer science. Applicants may optionally, but not required to submit score for graduate record examination GRE general exam. So they have made it optional, it's not required. University of Illinois, Urbana Champaign. I'm looking at the College of Engineering, School of Computing and Data Science. General record GRE, not required. The GRE general aptitude test and subject test are recommended, but not required. University of Washington, I'm looking at Material Science and Engineering Department. Optional GRE general test. You may submit your test score, but they are not required. Brown University, I'm looking at the Computer Science Department. Brown Computer Science Department does not require a general exam, GRE exam, for master's applicants. It's up to you. If you want to submit, you can. It's basically your call. Carnegie Mellon University, Computer Science Department, I'm looking at the doctoral admissions, and GRE score are optional. An applicant without GRE score is not at a disadvantage. However, applicant who has taken the GRE are encouraged to submit the score. The GRE home tests are not accepted. Duke University, and here GRE testing required by the programs. They have very nice filter. And if you go click on this filter, all these programs require the GRE. And if you go to the GRE optional, and you will see there are many, many programs that have the GRE requirement just optional. So here you go. Johns Hopkins, I'm looking at the School of Engineering, Department of Computer Science, and here you go. The GRE is not required for PhD applicants. University of Michigan, I'm looking at the College of Science and Engineering, looking at the graduate admissions. GRE scores are not considered in the admission review of PhD or master's applications. Cornell University, Computer Science, Master of Science admissions, GRE scores are not required. Submitted GRE scores are masked and we will not review them with the application material. So even if you submit your GRE, they will not review your GRE score. Caltech, they have this nice table where they have a couple of programs where the GRE is optional. So all those programs where they have O means those programs have GRE optional. For example, biochemistry and molecular biophysics, optional. PhD chemistry has optional. And a couple of more. Stanford University, I'm looking at computer science. GRE scores are not required for MS applicants. Here you go. Harvard University, I'm looking at computer science department. And here you go. GRE not accepted. So they don't need your GRE. Yale Graduate School of Arts and Science, they have a very nice table where they have listed all the programs and their GRE requirement. So all those which have optional, means GRE is optional, where they don't require GRE, they have written not accepted. So you can see there are many, many programs where GRE is not accepted at all. And there are many programs with the optional GRE. For example, this one, Biomedical Engineering for PhD, the GRE is optional. For MS, GRE is required. For Computer Science, PhD, not accepted. So you do not need your GRE score for Computer Science, PhD applications. However, for MS, they do require your GRE score. Bentley University, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I'm looking at College of Arts and Science, Computer Science. Taking GRE is not required, but is recommended. There is no penalty for students who do not submit the GRE scores. We encourage you to apply regardless of whether you have taken the GRE or not. The Admission Committee in Computer Science at UNC takes holistic approach and consider all parts of your applications, including the statement of purpose, resume, transcripts, letter of recommendations, standardized tests, if submitted. UCLA, Computer Science. 
Students who wish to apply for admission to our graduate program for 2025-26 academic year are not required to take the GRE or submit the GRE test report as part of their application package. However, students may voluntarily submit GRE test score and they will be reviewed as part of holistic application consideration. The applications with GRE scores will not be given greater weightage than those that do not include the GRE score. Texas A&M University. I'm looking at Department of Mechanical Engineering here. GRE scores are not required. However, if a student has a GRE score and wants to include them in the application, the scores will be considered in the review process. Applicants with a lower GPA or from a school that Texas A&M is not familiar with may benefit from providing a strong GRE score. Here you go. So if you are, you know, if you are from a third year college, which you know nobody knows about, having a strong GRE is an advantage at this university. Or if your GPA is quite low, a strong GRE can compensate for a low GPA to some extent. You see Berkeley. Some programs require applicants to take standardized tests such as GRE. They have not given a clear answer here, but they say some programs require GRE. It means there are other programs which do not require a GRE. Florida International University. So they have a nice filter here. So let's filter computer science. I want to go for MS. MS search and here you go. GRE is not required for MS computer science at Florida International University. Oregon State University, I'm looking at the College of Engineering Computer Science. The GRE is not required for the admission to computer science, MS or PhD program. University of Connecticut School of Computing. GRE scores are required for MS applicants with exception of University of Connecticut undergraduates pursuing the five-year program. GRE scores are not required for M engineering programs. So for some programs, they have waived the GRE requirement and for others, they have not. RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnical Institute. GRE test score required for Cognitive Science PhD optional for all other degree programs, strongly recommended for computer science, MS and PhD programs. So yeah, they have many programs where the GRE is optional. Tuft University, I'm looking at computer science, master's program. GRE general test scores are not required for applicants who will have received a degree from the institution located in the US or the Canada by the time of enrollment. GRE scores are required for all other applicants. Basically, you, if you are from US or Canada, you don't need GRE. If you are from anywhere outside, yes, you do need GRE. Let's now check same university, Tufts University, and this time Biomedical Engineering Master's Program. GRE general test scores are not required. Here you go. So for some program, again, they have waived the GRE. For others, they haven't. You have to basically check for your particular program in this university. NYU Engineering, I'm looking at Biomedical Engineering, PhD program, GRE scores are optional. NJIT, I'm looking at Master's program and you can see here, GRE, GMAT scores, optional for selected program, see below. So here, there are a couple of departments that have optional GRE. University of Virginia, I'm looking at the Biomedical Engineering department. GRE subject test is not required. Beginning with the 2020 applications, GRE journal test score is optional. University of Notre Dame, College of Engineering, I'm looking at PhD in Bioengineering, GRE journal test is optional. University of California, Irvine, GRE requirements, so you can see many programs do not require the GRE. Let's say computer science, not required. Vanderbilt University, they have nice filter. And you can see here their GRE requirement in this column and many programs have optional, optional and many programs are exempt. For example, this one biomedical engineering MS program, it's a GRE exempt program. So you don't need a GRE for this program. Uh, civil engineering, computer science, MS, you do not need a GRE. 
Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT. So they basically have a nice filter here and you can see their GRE uh, requirement here. Many programs do not require GRE here. In material science and engineering MS program, they do not require GRE. Microsystem engineering PhD program, GRE is optional but not recommended. In Mori University, computer science MS applicants, GRE scores required for MS admissions. However, GRE scores are not required for PhD admissions but will be considered if submitted. Arizona State University, computer science PhD program, submission of GRE scores is optional. The University of Texas, Austin, I am looking at biomedical engineering. So they are not offering a standalone master's program for the fall 2025 entry. Hmm, okay. But anyway, GRE scores are not considered in the admission process. University of Washington, and I'm looking at computer science and engineering, no GRE score requirement. PhD admission committee will not consider GRE scores. There is no benefit of providing GRE score during the application process as any scores that are received will not be referenced during the application review process. GRE is no more required for that program. This is for the PhD computer science. Uh, while they have not updated their website yet, but I have again the feeling that they will continue with GRE optional policy. So far, they are just saying that submitting a test score is optional for fall 2023, which is old information. They should have, you know, updated the information. But anyway, this is one of the universities that waived the GRE or made the GRE optional from last two, three years. And you can check Bentley University as well. Northeastern University is a GRE test optional for the fall 2023-24 academic year and does not require applicants to submit a standardized test to be considered for the admission. This is one of the universities that have not updated their websites yet, but I have a gut feeling that they will continue with their GRE test optional policy. But anyway, as soon as they update their website, we will come back and update our list and maybe either make a new video or maybe comment down um, comment in the comment section down below under this video. Columbia University engineering programs optional for the spring and fall 2024 applicants. I mean again they have not updated their website yet. I have a feeling that they will continue with their optional GRE policy for the fall 2025 as well. So you can check this website maybe after a few weeks or few days maybe soon they will update their. Drexel University the College of Computing and Information I'm looking at master's MS in computer science. GRE requirement. It's recommended for students with low GPA below three on the scale of four. So GRE is recommended if your GPA is below three on the scale of four. That's another university where they have GPA based GRE policy.